Hello, I'm Lawrence Fishburne. Americans care more than ever about nutrition and the quality of the food they eat, and often the most important ingredient in any food is the people who help bring it to the table, as you are about to see. In certain parts of the world, like the small European country of Croatia, there is only one way to farm, naturally. Organic practices are the norm because, quite frankly, it's the only way they know how to do it. So when Mike Gergich left his homeland in 1954, he took the farming practices he learned from his father with a particular focus on winemaking and brought it to the U.S. My father was born in a very small, very poor village in Croatia, which was part of Yugoslavia at the time. And he learned how to make wine from his father and from his grandfather. Because they were poor, they made everything that they consumed. And of course they did it naturally because there was no other way to do it. It was something that was very close to his heart because he always believed in doing things as simply as possible. And by doing things naturally, you get the best quality. One of the things that he took with him to America was his passion for farming naturally, as well as for making wines in the most natural way possible. When he was working at Chateau Montalena, there was a wine that he made, a 1973 Chardonnay, that was taken without his knowledge to Paris and entered in a tasting now known as the Judgment of Paris, where it bested all of the best white burgundies as well as a number of California wines. And that tasting went on to make Napa Valley world famous. Over the course of his 50-year career, Mike has acquired 366 acres of winemaking land in the heart of Napa Valley that is all certified organic from planting to processing. The operation is still family owned and farmed today with daughter Violet at the helm and nephew Evo Jeremaz, who is making wine the way his uncle Mike taught him. It's been with us for thousands of years. So only last hundred years, since we discovered the artificial fertilizers, the people started relying on those to farm. We come from Croatia. My uncle was farmer before Second War. Uh, farming there was not called organic, biodynamic, natural. It was just normal farming. You never planted only one crop, and the fertility of soil was maintained uh, not through uh, university's teachings, but rather from father to son. Our inspiration for organic farming comes from nature. Only nature is perfect. For us, uh, this was simple choice. This is what worked in, in Croatia, and we knew that it produces most flavorful grapes and produces healthy farm. Polyculture is crucial for success of organic farming. What is beautiful about organic farming is uh, simplicity and use of all living creatures on the farm. So underground we have microbes, which unfortunately nobody is studying these days. But if you know how to feed them, then they produce all food for grapevines. So you do not have to rely on artificial fertilizers. I would say fortunate to live in an area where everything is grown primarily through the state of California. So there's a lot of self-consciousness as far as of what is the produce that you're getting from whether the vineyard, whether it's the land through your, your glass or your plate. And we are definitely grown in that aspect. We've been organically farmed for many years. A lot of the uh, younger generation who might be looking for this more natural farm and produce wine, and which we are, we are entirely organically farm. We don't use pesticide, herbicide. We do everything as naturally as possible from the vineyard to your glass. That's exactly what our philosophy is. Food and wine are integral parts of the Mediterranean lifestyle that Mike Gergich knows so well. It allows people to come together to be present and engaged in that moment with each other and their environment. So when a great wine comes from a healthy vineyard that grows in balanced environment, it becomes something more. It becomes an important role in the health of our planet. We're glad you could join us today. I'm Lawrence Fishburne. See you next time.